and already you guys can see look at that look at the difference Hey guys and welcome back to the channel this is Chris Time FK7 and today's just going to be a short video because we're going to be doing a product review and today's product review is a graphene ceramic spray from Shine Armor. So in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how easy it is to apply on your car because apparently you just spray it on after you wash your car, uh, leave it on and then buff it off uh, after about a few minutes. So we're going to take a look at that and as well as we're going to see how shiny the car is after and we're gonna wait at least a week after applying the application on the car and see if the car is still shiny or if the car is dirty, how easy it is to clean off. So yeah, that's our video for today. Like I said, it's just gonna be a short video. Uh, but anyways, let's get on to the video so that I can show you guys if the product is worth it or not. Let's go. So I already took the car out for a wash and so I'll just show you guys a before and after. I have some water and I'm going to pour it. So that's what the non-treated looks like. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to be putting on some graphene ceramic spray from Shine Armor and we're going to see the difference. Notice how the water isn't beating up. Instead, it's staying where it's at and slowly making its way down the hood. Just to show you guys, it's been about a minute since I last poured the water and you can still see that water right there. And it's not like, it's not beating off or anything. So what we're gonna do is, is it snowing? Oh, wow, look at that, it's a little snowing a little bit. But anyways, we're gonna go ahead, dry this off and then we're gonna apply some shine armor to this. They were nice enough to include a microfiber towel as well, so we're going to use the included microfiber towel. They give us two. So the direction on how to use this is that we're going to be spraying this on the microfiber towel and then we're going to wipe the product onto paint, allowing the surface to fully be covered. Then we're going to allow the product to sit for one to two minutes, buff to a high shine with a microfiber towel and allow four hours to cure before exposure to elements. So this side is the one without the shine armor. Notice how the spray bottle isn't sliding. Okay, so now if I were to put this on the side where we did apply the shine armor, so it is, it's sliding now, which is kind of cool. But then on this side, even if I, like, it's, it's just gonna tip right over. Nope, try to get over here. Oh, I, I don't even have to tip it over to move it around, see that? Look at that, it just disappears. Instant, look at that. The water just beads right down. Whereas over here, it kinda, it kinda just stays there for a while. All right guys, so I coated this car with the graphene ceramic spray from Shine Armor. And I just wanna show you guys the difference. Now the whole car is already coated except the windshield. Uh, right here, this side is coated while the other side is not. And I'm just going to show you guys this microfiber towel. I'm just going to flick it and it slides right down. Whereas if we go over here, do the same thing, flick, nothing. It's not sliding. So really cool product from Shine Armor and I highly recommend because it creates a really nice glossy shine and it has a hydrophobic coating. So if your car does get wet, then the water is just gonna beat up and slide right out. So, really cool product from Shine Armor, uh, Graphene Ceramic Spray. All 
This is the car a week after the wash and uh, it still looks really shiny. I drive this every day, almost, and uh, it's still clean. The, the paint is still shiny and it's still slippery to the touch. Um, the only thing, I guess, is the windshield. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it does have some dirt on it. Other than that, I mean, the rest of the car is like perfectly fine. It's still shiny, it's still uh, smooth and silky. Every day I go down this road, it's like, a, it's muddy. Uh, so that's what I have to deal with every single day, but still, the car is still clean. Uh, the only thing that's dirty are the tires. Usually you'd see this part of the car all dirty, but um, a week after putting the coating on, it's still nice and shiny. And then also my Type R. Now I drove this three times uh, this week and again it's still shiny, no, no dirt or anything and it's still super slippery to the touch. And then if we look over here, I think the blue paint would, um, would make you see the dirt better than the white because on the Type R you can really see it. Right there, that's, I guess that's like dried up mud. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get some water and I'm gonna spray that down. This is on the sweep setting, so I'm gonna get like this little mist effect. We're gonna see how easily the mud comes off with this. All right, there you go, came off. And just like that, it's nice and clean again without any dirt residue and the surface is still nice and smooth and it's nice and shiny. Just doing this for fun, but I'm also doing this on the CRV. I, um, I kind of put tape on it, but by the time I put tape on it, I actually already sprayed the product onto the paint, so. I just, uh, I was like, whatever. <clears throat> so, you can kind of see the outline of where I uh, put the product in. Um, the, by the time I put the tape on, it was already too late because I've already sprayed the, uh, the, the, the hood. Um, so, as you can see, it left like a, sh uh, like a mirror-like shine to it. But, um... I'm gonna get the hose so that you guys can see. So this is obviously the side without, and then this is with. So let's grab the hose real quick. And already you guys can see, look at that. Look at the difference. So that's obviously the side where we put the product on. And then if we go over here, Huge difference, look at that. And you can see like the outline of where we put the product. Spray it again with more water. That's cool. So, the final conclusion. 
I was amazed at how it left my paint feeling smooth. Like it was unusually smooth, which really shows you how dirt and whatever comes in contact with your paint would just bounce off. I was expecting a little more hydrophobic action, but it's still good enough. Still repels water better than having none. But the main thing I want to talk about is how it keeps the car shiny. I went a week without washing my car and even after numerous drives, my car is still shining like the day I washed it. Maybe just a tad bit amount of dust, but compared to not having applied this coating, it made a noticeable difference. However, this product is not perfect, because if you apply this incorrectly, it will leave you hazing and it's a little hard to buff out. And that's pretty much the only downside I could think of. But I might have to do a long term review to really see how long this product lasts on the car. So I'm about a fifth of the bottle, uh, and this is for the two cars right there. Um, and I guess it's worth it because for $25, uh, there's a really big difference and like you can really feel and see the difference uh, compared to the cars without the product. I'm not sure if you guys noticed, but I actually shot this video four different days because of how crappy the weather uh, has been here lately. Um, but yeah, anyways, if you like this video, be sure to hit that like button. Comment down below what you guys think of this video. And if you're not a subscriber to the channel yet, be sure to hit that subscribe button because I do upload weekly on the channel. And if you're in the market for LED lights or floor mats or like car accessories, Last Fit is the way to go because I myself use their products and I've never been disappointed. And make sure you use my code CTFK7 for that 10% off. Thank you all for watching. This is Chris Time FK7 and peace out.